So that's the uh, dead cell number 345 that I rejuvenated with some um, alum and a charge. And uh, the circuit is drawing half a milliamp. And uh, this is number 344. It's still running, but uh, the light's very low. And just to give you a feel for that. Alright, so you can see on the left, it's much brighter than uh, 344. 679 millivolts under load. And it's still pretty bright. You know, for that low voltage and low power draw. Number 344 is um, it's still got a little bit of light on there. Okay, so I cut the uh, circuit and reattached it with a uh, milliamp reading. It's actually 140 microamps. That's why this thing isn't too bright. So the cell is pretty much dead. So I watered the cell a little bit. It didn't help much. Let's try to give it a charge with this buck boost. So I've got it set at 63 volts and 0 0.31. It, it won't run at that. So let me slim it down here. We'll try it at uh, 50 milliamps. And here we go. And I got this thing hooked up backwards. Alright, so it's building. It's pushing 25 volts. It's pushing about 80 85 volts. It's pushing about 80 plus milliamps. And it's still trying to build up to 63. If I set it at a lower um, amp reading, it, it'll build up quicker and work better. Give it a little bit of time and then we'll check it. see that there we go it's having trouble working its way up and try this again Let's try 30 milliamps set if you can see that it's pushing 44 45 46 milliamps the voltage is trying to build this Allen battery is just not strong enough. I could try the Marine battery, but uh, I might blow this little device. I could use a diode. It would uh, limit it. I've got some 10 amp uh, diodes for solar. It's rated at 10 amps. It's trying. It's not doing as well as it did yesterday. Oh well. Let's see if it did anything. So it's pulling up over half a milliamp and climbing. And it's getting brighter. It does take a charge, which is interesting. That must be the uh, manganese. It's getting up near a milliamp. All right, so now 344 on the right is much brighter than uh, 345 on the left, and uh, it's holding at 1.3 milliamps. So these things do take a charge. Interesting, and they're nice because uh, the um, these type of batteries over here are um, rechargeable. NIMH batteries, about 1.2 volts and fully charged, but they don't charge easily. These charge very easily. I could probably just hook them directly up to uh, Allen battery in maybe five seconds, and I'll give that a try next. So I'll build a few more of these cells a little bit differently and see what happens. Yeah, it's. See how long that lasts.